All right, please tell us your um, like your background and what your job is right now. So I am the school nurse here at Bishop McGinnis and at Immaculate Heart of Mary. I'm part-time both places, but technically full-time together. Um, this is my first year as a school nurse and working for both schools. I went to Bishop McGinnis myself, so I was I graduated in 2006 and loved my time here, loved Bishop, have a big heart for the school. And then I went to the University of South Carolina for nursing school. Then I went and worked in a hospital on a neuro unit for a while, and then took a little time off to raise my kids, and then with COVID came back to work. So Very cool. that's kind of like my background, I guess. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so we have four questions for you. Okay. So the first one is, how has the pandemic affected your job? So in a lot of ways, the pandemic has given me this job because um, I had personally reached out to Mac and Heart of Mary saying, you know, I think it'd be really helpful to have a nurse on staff, especially with COVID and all the other illnesses going on on top of COVID. And we really didn't know what it was going to look like at that time. So um, I knew I'd be able to help with contact tracing and um, just like general COVID protocols and stuff like that. And, Kind of having that one contact point so i started first in magna heart of mary and then came over here about a month later and was able to um work here as well so in a lot of ways it's kind of given me a job but um so it's hard for me to speak exactly what school nurse would be like without covid um but it has kept me very very busy um with contact tracing kind of being the main thing and just trying to keep the school and the students healthy. Um, but yeah, a lot of it is that, the COVID protocols, making sure everybody's following them. And then when there is a case, kind of communicating with the family, the parents, um, making sure everybody's on the same page and you know, following the quarantine and isolations and all the different numbers and everything. So a lot of that, a lot of my job is just keeping those numbers straight uh, you know who's sick when they can return yeah if they you know were in contact with anybody that we need to alert and stuff like that so it's a lot of um, data and information organization more than probably the average year would be for a school nurse so yeah. I'd say that's kind of what's been different about it yeah um what have you seen becoming more common since last March so obviously the whole world has changed so much since March. Um, one of the big things in terms of like nursing is like all of our focus really is on COVID, but a lot of other illnesses have been, have not been as common because yeah. we are taking all these precautions. So um, in a way, you know, I, I don't think I've seen a single student personally with the flu um, at either school this year, which is really strange and odd. I mean, <laughs> you see colds here and there, but um, I mean, the main thing we've been dealing with is COVID when it does happen, but really our numbers have looked really good when you compare, you know, to other schools in the average. So, um, yeah, I guess I'd say that's kind of the big thing that's changed since then um, in terms of sicknesses and illnesses, but, you know, also just our life in general, how we operate, social distancing, masks, everything. It's a whole new a whole new world right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, how has the pandemic taken a toll on you and your job? So it's taken a big toll. When I originally took the position, we really didn't like, as we all have kind of just learned over time, like what COVID is, how it affects everybody. We really didn't know what we were looking at when the school year started and everything. So um, I didn't realize it was going to be quite as demanding as it is. And um, I'm kind of always on call pretty much 24 seven. And I would say that's kind of the main thing is during the, you know, the thick of COVID in January, when things were at its peak, it was really demanding of me mentally, physically. I was getting phone calls at any hour, just saying that somebody has been exposed or somebody tested positive and immediately need to go into contact tracing and calling families at 10 o'clock at night and stuff like that. So there was a lot, I mean, it's taken a big toll on me, especially during those times. I've, you know, sacrificed a lot with my family and everything kind of to try to help manage both schools. And that's kind of what's made it tricky is having two schools and trying to, when 
at times both of them really kind of required full-time nurse and trying to give both of the schools my full attention and it did take a toll but now you know knock on wood things have been getting better and it's seeming to be more and you know slowing down I don't want to jinx anything but um things are looking so much better than they did back in January so those were kind of the main things okay and the last question is what is it like being a nurse during the pandemic well it's like I said it's been <laughs> trying and stressful I can't imagine being like an actual nurse on a COVID yeah. unit that's a whole different situation I really I don't even know what that would be like um mine has been my job is mainly just trying to keep students healthy and in school which I think we've really succeeded at this year and I'm so thankful for that but um so as far as you know a COVID nurse on a unit I can't imagine the fear and sacrifice those nurses um make on a daily basis but you know there's also been in a lot of ways the same as a school nurse the sacrifice and stuff but I, another you know a thing I wanted to mention was I work really closely with Mr. Trey the Dean of Students mm -hmm. and that's been such a blessing here he was actually my French teacher when I was oh. here so <laughs> we got along back then too so then to kind of come back on and work so closely with him yeah. has been really great because we really support each other in these hard decisions and that's kind of the the thing is that it comes down to a lot of decision making a lot of as much as we want COVID and everything to be so black and white you know you, you say a close contact is six feet or now they stay within three feet for 15 minutes well what if someone says well I was within six feet for 12 minutes well you know it's like so you have to make these really hard decisions and you feel like at times people's lives are at stake you're are you risking people or are you making the best decision? You know, we always want to err on the side of caution, but I don't know, it's complicated. And so it's been it's been such a blessing to work with Mr. Dre because him and I really support each other. We are just very like-minded in our decisions. We have each other to bounce ideas off of and back each other up. So that's been really great. But yeah, overall, it's been a very interesting, wild <laughs> ride. That's for sure. It's not necessarily what I expected it would be, but I, you know, I learn something new every day, that's for sure, and yeah, the, the gist of it is just kind of making hard decisions, trying to make everybody happy, but <laughs> that's hard to do. There's yeah. always going to be people that are upset with your decision, and so it's a lot of just communicating with parents and <laughs> stuff like that, but overall, it's been also very fulfilling, I would say. Like, I Kind of imagine myself one day as a grandmother telling my grandkids like during this COVID pandemic I was able to be a school nurse and try and keep the schools open and running and help these children healthy and everything so in a way it's been you know a huge blessing and really fulfilling for me so cool. yeah all right thanks for doing the yes, interview with of us. course <laughs> of course anytime <laughs>